Yes, we did discuss tax policy, and let me say that most of my colleagues factored in the prospect of fiscal stimulus along the lines of what's being contemplated by Congress into their projections. Now, I should emphasize that some of them have been incorporating those expectations into their projections throughout the year. So changes to the projections that you see since September should not be viewed as an impact, an estimate of the impact of the tax package. And in particular, broader expectations of changes to fiscal policy have been reflected in financial market conditions, I think, over the past year. For example, we have seen a significant increase in the stock market, and at least some portion of that I would judge likely uh, partly reflected expected tax changes. And that effect, um, along with other financial market eff effects, um, which uh, affects, for example, projected consumer spending and would have affected wealth. That's been part of participants' forecast now for some time. I think my colleagues and I are uh, in line with the general expectation among most economists that the type of tax changes that are um, likely to be enacted would tend to provide some modest lift to GDP growth in the coming years, and you see that um, in part. That's one of the reasons, I think, for the uptick you see in estimated growth and decline in um, the unemployment rate. Uh, the views of participants, I believe, have been informed by a wide range of analysis, including that of the Joint Committee on Taxation and other outside evaluators, and my sense is that their estimates are essentially in the same uh, ballpark, although they recognize, as I emphasize, that there is considerable uncertainty um, about the impacts um, and that will have to be monitored over time. More specifically, they tend to see the package as boosting both consumer spending and capital uh, spending to some extent.